going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I haven't posted for a while. It's been busy. I know I said I'll be posting once a week, but things happen and uh, that's not able to happen. But today's video, before we get started, hit that subscribe button down below, also that notification bell. That way when I upload new videos, you guys will be notified. I'll also be doing a giveaway at 2,000 subscribers. I don't know what I'm going to be giving away yet, but stay tuned. I'm so close, so hit that subscribe button down below. Let everyone know about this channel and I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. Many of you viewers have been asking what case I use for my bow and that's the SKB small parallel limbo case. I will go over that in a bit here but before we get started I just want to get a few reps in. Haven't shot my bow for a while but stay tuned. You guys can't see. I'm shooting. I can see it here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Target's down there somewhere. Again, say thanks to Morel Targets for setting up the targets for me to shoot. So far, they've been holding up really good. The target is a bank style, not the foam target, but it seems to be holding up great. That one I pulled. Let's go check it out. Come on. As many of you don't know, I do have a dog. Her name is Stella. She is half German Shepherd and half Blue Tick Hound. 73 pounds of joy. <laughs> Alright, let's walk down and check it out. 40 yards, cold shots. I haven't shot my bow ever since my last video. It's super muddy over here. But, this ain't bad for 40 yards. Again, if you guys are looking for targets, these Morel Yellow Jackets are super sweet targets. Super durable. Nice thing is once the cover wears out, you can change this out, I believe. So let's get back to shooting. A few more reps and then I'll show you guys my case. Also looking for new stabilizers. If you guys don't have any good companies, leave it down in the comment section down below. I want to try something different this year? Who knows? I might be giving these away too. I tend to practice at a longer distance, 40, 50, 60, that way when I shoot at 20 and 30, I'm just, that more, I'm just that more confident. I also encourage everyone to shoot farther distances if you can, if you're comfortable, um, but if you can't, 20, 30, 40 is fine. But here is my grouping, a little low, and you get out and shoot some more. But one thing, I did do, well my dad, this is my food plots. I got soybeans, it's 
coming in real good. Had to fence this off because the deer they were getting to it before it was even growing. But I'm hoping this year this will produce. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I have my stand. Uh, let's see here, right up there. Then I have another stand inside the woods. About 40 yards in there. Just a few more reps and then we'll get to the bow case. Alright, so this is my bow case. This is called the SKB Small Parallel Limb Bow Case. Which you guys can see here. By SKB, made in the USA. These stickers I put on myself. This came with my bow. This came in the mail from Rural Targets. For sending me out the targets, they also sent me some decals and a hat. This also came with my bow. I uh, got the Hamski sticker and the Sever broadheads. I shoot Severs if anyone doesn't know. Great broadheads. I chose this case because it was cheap for the price. I think I paid $199.99 before taxes. I believe that's the price that Shields has it at right now for $199.99. It is July 8th, 2021, and I just checked it's the same price. But enough of me talking, let's get into it. So it has four latches here. There's one. Got a, a little lever here you got to push to open, which is nice. Two, three, four. And it does have some holes for your locks if you ever plan on flying with this. And there she sits. I believe it holds 12 arrows up top. These are my Victory VAPs. As you guys can see, it fits the Matthews V3 really good. This is the 27. Just some quick specs on this. I'm just reading this off of their website. It is built to military standards. Water jet cut foam for aero system, which is up here. Really nice foam. This here, I had to cut out to fit my quiver and my arrows. It's got inline skate wheels They're on this side. There you go. Trigger release latch system as you guys saw before. Right there. Padlock holes. Again, there's four of them. TSA approved, I believe. Waterproof design. It does have a rubber seal all the way around. I've not water tested this yet, but from what I've seen, what I've heard. This is pretty good what you're paying for. There's a lifetime warranty on this. I'm not sure if there's any more after I cut some things out and added, but I'll call them to see what they say. $1,500 content coverage. I believe that is their guarantee if your item gets damaged, they can cover up to $1,500. 
I'm not sure if that is true or not. If anybody knows more about that, leave it down in the comment section below. Interior length is 34 and a half inches, left to right. The width is 13.75. The depth is four inches. I believe it's from here to here. And it weighs 17 pounds, so this is not a light case. You definitely can feel the weight when you're carrying it. Now let's take this out. We'll see how it looks like. It does have, well I had three of these straps. I only used two. I took this one out. Another modification I did was I bought some foam off of Amazon. Cut it to the shape of my Excel site and I took it off. Um, the nice thing about dovetails is if you put it back in the same spot where you have it marked, your site won't be off. So that's what I did. Got my Vortex 1800 here. Just sitting here, I gotta find a way to tuck this in a little nicer. I did have to cut a little hole here for my release. As you guys can see, it is not foam all the way through. Well, if you guys can't see, there's actually just a hole in here. Um, this sits in here pretty well. One thing I've learned to do with a stabilizer, and if you guys don't have a knuckle that allows it to swing up, if you have a quick release, like I do, normally it sits like this. And with that, it will not fit in the case. But I've learned, here's a little trick. You unscrew it out almost all the way and flip it, as you can see, it's a hole there. You put it in like this. Huh. You tighten it down, just one hand. If you tighten it down all the way, it stays put. And then you can put your bow in your case. That is if you don't have a sight that is in the way, but mine's a dovetail, so I take it off. Um, I am running a tight spot quiver. I run it um, halfway down. So you guys can see at the clamp. That way it sits lower in the case, and the case can close. But, here it goes. I made it to where my stabilizer butts up against this piece right here. So I know that it is in there good then you strap it in and like I mentioned before I had to cut out this part right here to fit the quiver reasoning I don't run a full 12 arrows is because when I close it down this section hits this part right here and right here so it's gonna hit the arrows and that's why I choose not to run the 12 arrows. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight arrows, that's plenty enough for me. Plus the five here. If you need more arrows than that, you've got to practice some more. But that's all I have for today's video. It's hot out here. It's about 85 degrees, but the humidity is crazy. Again, that is my case there. A lot of you guys have asked, so there it is. Sweet little case. Again, it's $199.99 right now at Shields. I'll be doing more videos for you guys. Any suggestions, leave it down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. We're doing a giveaway at 2,000 subs. Keep an eye out for that. Until next time, be safe, everyone.